Well, we got it started this morning. I don't really explain this, but I think the alternator's not charging the battery, so when it be working a lot, and this is all right off of the uh, electronics, you can tell. See those buttons right there? You can tell that that's a button curl. There's like little uh, solenoids in there, and that's all electric, so basically, when they start doing that, the machine starts to load, and it gets a lot slower, so the alternator we think is the problem, not as the battery, whichever two. But we gotta start. So, um, the battery indicator kept coming on, so what I did was I hooked the big charger up to it and turned on 12 volts. That's coming up here. Turn it up on highest amperage so I could get the same charge. Um, um, I'll probably take the chainsaw down to do some cleanup down there. I'll get the gator, but yeah, it'll charge for about 45 minutes to an hour and it'll be good to go for the day. So, anyhow, catch y'all here in a little bit. I tried to do a video once again. I was gonna show you guys what I was doing about spraying that uh, concrete down. Well, the concrete spread now. It's been the last of the, well, not the last of the rock. Close to it anyway. Till next weekend to seed this thing because this dirt down here is like soup or the topsoil. He milked it around too much, is what happened. It happens, especially when it's muddy. But um, I'll walk down here just a minute. As you can tell there how nice that looks, nice and angled, and shouldn't have any problems. We'll finish doing the dirt and around that, and then we'll seed and straw it. We'll probably bring home a little like dingo with a power rake on it to finish up the job then we'll bust the other side open but as you can tell this is pretty nasty it's pretty sticky stuff down here it ain't too bad of course that up there is a little salty and we just about got all them cuts up there done we have to do this side and that's it uh, have to do some finish filling there uh, this is drying out quite a bit I think a power rake will do it. We'll fill that in. We'll at least get all the topsoil done today, and next weekend we'll come in and finish it. I want to hear and 
show you what we got going on. We slope our creek to where it goes around, and eventually it'll go straight out through my field there where that walnut tree is at. Uh, of course, we'll finish this up a little bit. We'll, we'll come all the way down to here and stop and that way. But uh, we just decided to go ahead and do this little corner too while we're going. Been doing some chainsaw and got the ash tree, the stump off the ash tree there. But it's gonna go straight through here where that walnut tree's at. And then basically, all, everything here is gone. It'll all be cleared out, all stumps buried, but there's a pretty good topsoil vein right in there. Um, I've been doing this clearing up there. We won't go into that just yet. Uh, it's just kind of a extra fill I'm thinking about building so I'm just gonna do some more clearing up in there and see how far I can get but um, yeah so that's kind of the creek project on this end the other end of course sorry guys the video cut off I had too many videos from yesterday I didn't get on deleted but anyhow we'll catch you all here in a little bit uh, I think it, this might be the end I don't quite know I don't know what all this we're gonna try to do this thing today but anyhow just comment rate subscribe catch y'all next one